up? <laughs> and welcome back to another video. Today! I am yelling a lot. We have an exciting new, like, secret hidden update that they didn't really allude to um, in any way. It's kind of hidden, but people have uncovered it. And they have, and Clash Royale has talked about it on Twitter. And we have lots of opinions, and I think it's really awesome in general. Like, straight out, this is awesome by Clash Royale. There's no, like, negative to this at all. Um, but it just comes down to implementation. I'll actually get to So, okay. So, you know, you can go to Friendly Battles. It's the same as before. Um, if you, I don't know if, a lot of people didn't know this. So I think this is good to show as well, because a lot of people are like, wait, where do you even see this? Uh, when we talked about it on Twitter. But if you hold the 1v1 battle, you get the opportunity to change the arena. But now they have fixed deck order, where fix the starting hand of each battle to your card order on your collection screen. So where you see the eight cards where you pick them, you can actually fix that order now. And that is a aspect you can do in friendly battles. And it won't be a surprise because it says looking for a 1v1 fixed deck battle now when you propose it. So this means this will be my rotation. Uh, for it, I'm going to make a video on this deck probably. Um, it's good again, but anyway, uh, that's that'll be your order um, I'm assuming that's how, yeah left to right would be make sense. So one through eight that will be the exact order your cards appear in and I like this and I don't like this and some people will completely like it We've had discussions on Twitter and I can see all sides, but so what I think would be perfect is This first card is always in your starting hand and the eighth card if this is actually the opposite of how you would do it in a real match. You would want pump in your starting hand. You wouldn't want three musk in your last and not in your starting hand. Um, so what I think could be cool is they could either make it. They can make it like this is your first card if it's in the first slot, and then the eighth card will be your eighth card, or it'll just not be in your starting hand. I think this is enough elements of control that uh, so if one card's not in your starting hand, one card is. I think this is enough element of control to take out the randomness of starting hands. So like if I'm running a tornado deck, I always want to start tornado on hand for like building targeting troops, obviously. Um, if I'm running pump, I want to start pump. If I have rocket, I want to start rocket so I can punish pumps, um, that type of thing. Maybe even like choose two starting cards and one card to leave out. Um, just two or three cards having that element of control. Because the problem if you have eight cards, in my opinion, is there's almost always going to be standardized eight card rotations to where the games look the exact same over and over again. That's my main problem is like the viewing experience and I don't feel like that's as exciting as a player. I feel like you can remove the randomness that is bad and causes you to directly lose without removing the randomness that makes the game more interesting. Um, and of course you can adjust this but also uh, let's flip over to my other screen real quick. Um, uno momento. There we go. Alright, so, uh, this is something Clash Royale said. So, Swoot is basically just saying kind of the same thing I said just now. Uh, While well, the new starting hand feature is awesome and I love it being implemented. So, first off, eight, choosing all eight cards is better than not choosing all eight cards. I think that's awesome, even if it's only friendly battles, because this doesn't necessarily have to be mandatory for everyone. You can make it optional and do it in friendly battles, so it only affects competitive play. Because you can just turn it off. So there's no downside to doing this if they leave it to only friendly battles and don't make it mandatory. And so Clash Royale said solid feedback. That's why this first version is a test run, not a permanent feature yet to see how it works in competitive play and may well need some tweaking to get it right. So another thing is, go way to go Supercell. Like I said uh, below that, I said you're my hero or whatever. So that sounds good to me and yeah, yeah. So... That's, I mean, like, really, that's awesome. Clash Royale is doing so many things lately with that Reddit questionnaire that I did earlier. They're doing so many things lately that show that they're listening to the community and the pro community, and they're trying to improve their game. Like, this is what we've been wanting for, like, since the game came out. Um, so th that alone is awesome, and they're doing a great job in making strides towards uh, improving the game and keeping it around for years to come. So this is all awesome. No, there's no downside to this, but yeah. So basically my argument is, and... Check out the Clash with, w, uh, Clash with Ash video. It'll probably be a little bit uh, more, it'll be a lot more of the same talk, but also me going into more depth about what I think. Um, I think this is really cool. 
and I am really happy that's being implemented. But I do think um, having two to three cards in your control could be better. And of course, this is mainly only for competitive. Uh, maybe if it's really well received, you could eventually move it to all game modes. Um, but I do think it's smaller element of control. But overall, I just think Clash Royale actually taking the time. And let's discuss this in the comments. And of course, once again, like this video. Um, if you like this type of content, I'm going to have gameplay out either later today or tomorrow uh, that I have a thumbnail made for already. But anyway, um, a new meta decks. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this change in the uh, comments. And of course, ask me to elaborate and I will respond if necessary. But I'm really optimistic. This is like a lot of cool changes in such a short time. And we were like discussing this and how... Um, Oh, so the story I shared is in King's Cup, I was playing Golem, and I played it five times. Two times, I had the mirror match, we both started pump, I won both of those matches. This is in King's Cup. All five of these battles were in the final round that would have qualified me for the top eight that would have won me thousands of dollars. Um, and then, so two times it was fair, I won. Three times it wasn't fair because pump was my, and this is an exaggeration, I have the screenshots posted somewhere on Twitter if you really want to go look and see if I'm telling the truth, but... Um, Pump were my 7th and 8th card in 3 other matches and it was first uh, for in the starting hand of my first 2 opponents and 1 card out of rotation so he played Band at the Bridge and then got a Pump out in my 3rd and it was my dead last card in that matchup. So, and in that matchup if you poison the Pump they then would Golem and the Night Witch and you couldn't defend because you don't have poison for the defensive pusher they just stack troops. Um, so it, like there's literally nothing you can do, you can play the Golem at the Bridge, they'll defend and they'll get another Pump down. Uh, so there's like nothing you can do. You can play it at the back and they defend and get another pump down. Um, and then you're down one pump all game and down like five elixir and that loses you in a mirror match against equally skilled players. Or close to equally skilled. skilled. So uh, yeah, that's the problem it solves. But I do think like, so in that matchup what you would do is you would start with pump and you wouldn't have golem in rotation. You start with tornado. Uh, you wouldn't have maybe your wind condition in rotation like a balloon if that's a balloon XE cycle. Um, so that type of thing, and I really think the solution I propose, possibly choosing two of your starting cards, one that you don't have, uh, could be awesome. Uh, yeah, so let me know your thoughts. I am really happy about these changes by Clash Royale, though. So thank you guys for this um, new video, probably coming up today. I'll, I'll put it into work for you guys, okay? <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.